Hello everyone and welcome back to Niche, the Tribe of the Sea. And we are here with our water tribe who are currently uh, preparing to uh, hopefully get their lines merged once again. We've had this, uh, this poison fang line which is finally taking shape that's been kind of separated from our, uh, our hunter line for a while now. But we're going to try and merge those together. Uh, we're actually going to probably try and breed Viper with Junko here and see if perhaps they can have some poison fanged babies who aren't going to be sick and then we'll try and integrate that line with our hunter line here now i do want to say that i think this uh this season of the series is going to draw to a close um we are probably going to wrap this up pretty soon here maybe uh, five more episodes or so and um then we'll be trying some different series for a while, but uh, don't worry, if you guys like this series, if you want to see it come back, we can certainly continue with this tribe at some point in the future uh, when you guys want to see more of them. And uh, another thing I wanted to say real quick before we begin is a lot of you guys are saying, oh, Jay, you should go to a different island. Um, well, part of the biome challenge that uh, we're doing here where we're trying to have them stay in the sea is we're kind of... We're kind of trying to keep them localized to this area, and so I really don't want to have them move. What we'll probably do is slow down with our breeding a little bit, and uh, let some of the some of the tribe members just naturally uh, die off of old age at a rate that's a little bit quicker than uh, we'll be breeding new babies. So we'll probably see another population decline here pretty soon, because I think a lot of our adult creatures will actually... Actually, quite a few of our adult creatures are still pretty young. But at some point here, we will start to see several of them end up passing away due to old age. Bismarck actually is about to pass away on this turn. Lilac will be the next turn. Stingray and Marlin are also getting pretty old. So a lot of our older creatures are um, starting to reach the end of their lifespan. So we will see another population decline pretty soon here. Oh, let's make sure we do something with these guys too because... We really have a, uh, we have, we sometimes forget about them. And then, oh, one thing that you guys have uh, been reminding me of is we keep forgetting about these creatures here. Um, I'm trying not to, you guys. I really am. But um, unfortunately, I keep missing them because they're all the way over on the other side of the island here. Uh, but we'll go ahead and start a new day, I think. And we'll actually probably uh, stay here with Bismarck because it is his last day. And there he goes. Okay, there's the... Oh, the Baryinas come this way. Brilliant. Okay. Well, let's see if Coconut can gather here. I'm gonna let Luna catch that bunny. It looks like another another uh, bunny did steal those berries, unfortunately. How much strength do you have, Coconut? None whatsoever. Let's just see if you can sit up here. Maybe try to get that bunny. Unfortunately, uh, no success, though. Let's see, you should be able to hop right up here, Stingray. And there we go, he actually finished off that Baryina. So let's bring Manatee down here to gather up the uh, remaining food there. And then I think we'll send, I'm going to send Lilac this way. Um, unfortunately, it looks like somebody did, and there's the culprit. Somebody did steal that food, and where is, who's stealing food here? I heard a bunny take something. But I'm not quite sure where. Maybe Bahari can catch this bunny. And we can continue to see if we'll be able... Oh, we... oh and Crab managed to dig there. That was really fortunate. Uh, but we'll, we'll make sure that um, uh, we're trying to catch some of these bunnies. Our food, thankfully, is once again on the rise. I was a little bit worried about that because uh, we did start to have a decline. Oh, Newt, this bunny is, both of these bunnies have run right up to you. Oh my goodness. Um, but yeah, we did have uh, some, of the, some of the bunnies ended up um, stealing the food and our food has been uh, on the decline, but now it's rising again. Of course, <laughs> I always get interrupted by the garbage truck, no matter how hard I try. Uh, oh well. So Turtle and Kraken are actually going to be our next breeding pair for the Platypus line too, or I should say not just the Platypus line, but the Gatherer line. And so we want to keep them close together here. And uh, E and I, K and D. I and D, so Wind has non-essential genetics, and I think... I'm going to use pink in this playthrough to indicate non-essential genetics, maybe, because we have... These guys are orange. 
and these guys are yellow, and these guys are blue. So we'll have we'll use pink to indicate those who don't have extra genetics that need or that who don't have genetics that need to be contributed through breeding, because uh, then we're free to have them venture a little farther away than we would otherwise. So let's see. We also have Lysana again. She has I and D. Those are all genes we've seen in our gatherer line. Shore has K and E, so it might be wise to try and breed him into the platypus line because we have E. Oh no, we have K. Okay, so Shore doesn't need to uh, breed into that line either. And uh, we have uh, Kichiki who needs to actually keep her distance because she is sick. She has the same immunity as Viper though, and so we will not be breeding her probably even though she does have these poison fangs. So, we'll bring her down here, and she can actually chase down these fish. And, uh, let's see. I think... Hmm. We'll bring Junko up here. Have him gather... There's the shell, okay. And then Viper, on her next day, should be old enough to breed. But for now, we'll have her, um, just gather up some of these healing fruits. Wait a minute! Crate is one of the ones who has a leech. Okay, let's actually check on those two. So, okay, that would be Crate himself. Um, it looks like Shimmer has one. So we'll have Aqua pull that off. Because we don't want anybody getting attacked by Razorana. And Kelp has one as well. So now, let's see. Crate has the leech. I'm going to bring Shore down here. Oh, he shouldn't be next to Kichiki either. Oh, I forgot she was sick. Oh, man. Well, we'll have Lysana go down here. Wait a minute, Lysana, you can't be in the water! <gasps> oh, I've done a bad thing, you guys. I forgot that not all of our creatures can actually breathe underwater. Oh, Lysana, I'm sorry. We'll have to get her out on the next turn. Oh, man, I forgot that we still have some creatures who don't have the swimming genes. Or who don't have the... Wait, wave, you too? Okay, quickly, get out of the water. Oh my goodness, she's still in too deep. Oh, this is bad. Okay, we need to keep Wave and Lysana a lot closer to the shore. I didn't realize they were going to have that uh, that problem. Uh, and at least Tadella managed to uh, gather up a worm from there. But I didn't realize that was going to be such an issue. And let's make sure we can actually let Rere um, go ahead and uh, hunt some bunnies. Surprisingly, Rere is actually a really good bunny hunter. Uh, she has two strength thanks to these ram horns, and I think, yes, thanks to her medium body as well. So, uh, she's actually not that bad of a hunter. Kirku, meanwhile, is still uh, leading this balance bear away from the tribe, and uh, has to keep its attention focused on him. I wonder how old it's getting. Surely it's it's starting to get a little bit, uh, a little bit older and a little bit slower. It's been such a long time that it's been lurking around here. Um, let's see, too, if we can find anything else to eat. Unfortunately, I don't think so, but our food is going up, so I'm not overly concerned. Uh, Aloha can maybe try and dig. We'll have some of these guys try and dig. There we go. And, uh, even Shimmer can come and try to dig, too. There's not really any Razoranas around here by the look of it. And, uh, not e really even any, um... There's not even really any fish so we'll keep these guys kind of close and have them try to dig there we go we actually succeeded that time kelp can try as well but uh, i don't think any more success is uh i don't think we're going to see any more success now maybe i'll bring carrick somewhere where he might be able to dig that's hearing let's see if we can have him find um find somewhere to dig. Unfortunately, his sense of smell is pretty bad, thanks to that platypus beak. Uh, but let's go ahead and we'll start a new day, and I think we're actually about to lose... not Luna. Um, but yeah, Lilac here is about to pass away. Um, and she will do that under this coconut tree here, so we'll bid her farewell. Oh! I hear... oh goodness, I hear creatures drowning, I hear leeches. Lots and lots of bad things are going on. Let's see if we can gather there. And then maybe it is Luna's last day, so maybe we can spook that bunny towards her somehow? No, it doesn't look like it. Uh, Manatee can come over this way and help, maybe, or try to help. And then Stingray might be able to help catch some of these bunnies, perhaps, too. 
if any of them are gonna get close. I think we'll let Luna, oh, she had an extra turn? Oh man, well, we'll let her at least have gathered up some of that grass to help with the nesting material. Not that we're in any sort of a situation there, but uh, it's not, uh, it never hurts to have more nesting material. And I think this bunny may have actually been stunned by a coconut. So let's let Bahari go down here and uh, catch what turned out to be some easy prey. Now, we'll let Anako gather this and then step away. Oh, I th where am I hearing the bunny stealing from us? It's not right here, is it? Nope, unfortunately we didn't manage to take it out either. Uh, maybe Carrick can try and take a swipe at it. Oh, there's the balance bear. Oh, it's not even close. Oh my goodness, Kirku, it's his last day too. Honestly, I feel like he would valiantly face this balance bear even if he's not going to do any damage to it, I think he would want to spend his last day fighting with every ounce of strength he has left. And it looks like Rari's companion, too, has also passed away. Oh, man. Well, she can continue to hunt bunnies, at least, and hopefully provide some extra food for the tribe in the process. We'll let Burizo gather up some of these, uh, these dig spots, and then we'll see. There's gotta be something around here. Who, who got the leech, too? Um, River, oh my goodness. Well, oh, and there's some Razorana. Let's see if Bermuda can take one out. And maybe, yeah, Alaska can as well. So we have a uh, River and uh, Kelp are going to be the next breeding pair, though. So let's maybe start uh, having these guys venture out further. We did have some Razorana spawn, so that's good. Maybe you have to have these in visibility. It, or, like, maybe you have to have them in eye shot to be able to, um have them spawn but let's see if aloha can make her way over here and uh, she can't reach that uh that shell on this turn she just barely got over there but uh, nevertheless she'll be ready for the next turn we'll leave kelp and river right here uh this is our next breeding pair right yes and uh, that will uh give them quite a bit of oh there's another raised rana too that, uh, but that'll give them the ability to kind of keep that, uh, that family nesting grounds nice and safe. Now, this turn is actually really important because Viper needs to nest. So let's go ahead and we'll breed her with Junko. We'll have her nest and then we'll have her gather up some of these, uh, water breathing fruits. Not that she needs them for their water breathing properties, but she's actually still pretty hurt and uh from her sickness and so she needs to heal up from that we could have kichiki take some of these too and she actually stumbled upon quite a few of these um quite a few of these shells so maybe we'll bring lassie down to help gather them and then we need to get lysana out as quickly as possible let's bring her up here and then get her to the shore because uh she definitely got into some trouble and so did wave but wind at least is safe in the water she can uh breathe under the water so and she actually found a shell too so that's good news now let's see there is a dig spot but not much we can do about it but kraken here found some dig spots too maybe we can bring turtle over by kirara to help her out and let's honestly see um Hmm, is there anyone else we can move? Because I want that mole to look the other direction. Let's see if Crate can maybe track down anything. No. But the mole is turned away now, so we can actually take it out. There we go. Good job, Newt. Now, let's see if there's any of these other coconuts we can gather. There is not, unfortunately. Uh, but I think that's about all the moves we have for this turn. So we are slowly dropping in numbers. We're losing some of the excess creatures because we are not breeding as fast as we were and consolidating the lions into two will help that instead of these four different breeding groups that we've got. So that'll be a good thing. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and start a new day and we'll zoom in here on Luna because it is her last. So, uh-oh. Um, oh, that was just the bear. Oh... Oh, man. Well, we have lost our, our valiant war distraction warrior, I guess. He, he was... He, he, let, he risked his life to lead that balance bear away from the tribe, and for so long he did succeed. So, let's see if we can catch these uh, bunnies, perhaps? And we'll make sure we're gathering here so that we don't lose all that meat. Maybe Manatee can actually try to catch this bunny? 
I don't think it's quite working though. And Marlin. Oh, it's Marlin's last day now too. Oh, maybe we'll bring Manity this way and she can kind of come and take his place over here uh, for his last day. So we'll let him come sit nice and close to her and kind of, uh, kind of across that stream show her the way there. Now, let's see, maybe Nala. Oh, Nala can gather there and then I think we'll bring her back here and we'll make sure Coco can gather here and Tadella can step back over this way. There's quite a few platypus beak spots over here, so maybe we can have Lysana, who can't venture into the deep water, come over there and uh, start um, digging up some of the, these areas. And we'll let uh, Wave venture along the beach here, I think, and also look for some of these dig areas. Now, Turtle needs to head back this way, probably. Or actually, you know what? I think we'll have Kraken follow her. And maybe we can bring these two down into the sea. Um, we'll have them stay close to each other, but eventually I do want to get them down into the sea there so that we can... Uh, uh oh, Onako, I hope she's gonna be okay. I left her under the tree. I thought she had another move left there. Uh, but let's see, there is a bunny right here that we can take out. And we'll see if we can have these two head down into the sea and maybe nest somewhere around here. Uh, we'll let Wind also go sniffing around for some more of these dig areas. And Aloha can indeed gather up that shell. That's good to see. Oh, and she got very lucky and was actually able to dig, too. Oh, wait a minute. There is a Razorana lurking down here, too. And Shimmer was able to swipe it up. Now, there's lots of these dig areas. Where are these bunnies stealing from us? Oh, they're you know what they're doing? They're taking the clover. That's why I don't see any berries that they're actually gathering. The, they're not taking the, the berries. They're taking the clovers. All right. Well, we have Duke New who does have the um he does have the poison fang so we'll bring crate over here too and just kind of um just kind of see if he can uh potentially keep an eye on the baby here and then let's bring junko down here just for one turn we'll put viper right here we'll breed them have viper nest have her gather another water healing plant and then we'll move junko back to a safe distance while crate keeps watch and tries to dig now, sure, I think, can venture this way. We'll see if any of these guys can maybe find some food. Well, there is a raised Rana, but none of them are actually uh, strong enough to take it on. But Lassie here can go ahead and uh, and dig. Unfortunately, sure didn't catch that raised Rana. I was kind of hoping he would. But maybe Bermuda can head in this direction and eventually help out with that. We'll bring Luciana this way, too. Have her try and dig some, but again, without success. And uh, Aqua can also try and dig, but I don't think that worked out quite as well as we were hoping. Now, oh my goodness, Brizo, you've got quite the uh, quite the ability to dig up. There's so many of the, these dig spots around here. Oh my gosh, wow. That's pretty impressive. And let's not forget about Rare here. We'll go ahead and have her kill some of these bunnies. And maybe Carrick can actually head this way. And we'll make sure that uh, Coconut here takes one last swipe at the bunny, even though it really didn't do any good. So I think that's about it for the turn, and actually probably for the episode as well. Well, you know what? We could probably squeeze in one more turn. Let's go ahead and we'll do that, and uh, I'll actually spend the night here with Marlin, because it is his last day too. So we'll be bidding him farewell. We have so much food too, wow. Okay, well, Carrick definitely has lured the balance bear uh, away from the tribe, and uh, that, that's probably not, not the greatest situation for him. It's a little bit dangerous. Uh, and if we can spook this, yes! Stingray can actually catch this bunny right here. And we'll make sure that Manatee swims across and heads over this way to kind of take up Marlin's post. Bahari can maybe head this way. We'll see if there's any um, any bunnies she'll be able to catch that uh, might creep within her reach before too long here. And we'll let Coco go ahead and gather. Thankfully, Anaka was all right. I was a little worried because we accidentally left her under that tree. But uh, everything is fine, it seems. And we don't need to worry about her because uh, we managed to get her out. Oh, and Newt has found another bunny he can catch. 
Let's see if a wave here can find, yes, she did find other dig spots. And uh, we'll make sure Kraken digs here. And then Turtle can head down here. And we'll probably bring them over in this direction, honestly. I'm not going to have them breed just yet because, again, we are still kind of trying to, um, to, to lower our numbers just a little bit. Uh, and let's make sure Aloha gets to grab this shell. Uh, but yeah, we're still trying to lower our numbers a little, so we want to be cautious with how much we're breeding and how quickly we're breeding. But uh, for the time being, I think it's, uh, it would not be uh, it would not be a bad thing to at least get them down there. Now we do have oh we got the shell there. We do have kelp and river, and I think I'm gonna breed them, but not have uh, not have her nest right away. And oh, there's Ray's Rana right here. Well, I'm gonna put I'll put crate right there, or we'll put uh, sorry Duke Duke new here, and we'll go ahead and have crate come down this way. And then Viper can step up here. We can actually have Bermuda take this uh, Raze Rana out and then swim a little bit away. And we'll make sure we put Junko right here and breed him, uh-oh, with Viper. There we go. Thankfully, we did actually have a successful pregnancy. I was worried for a little bit. And uh, we do have uh, Takuku here. I honestly like that name. I don't really know why, but I, I do like it. And uh, he's got some pretty good traits, so he may be someone who we eventually want to breed into this line here, because we are trying to get those poison fangs into our deep sea hunters. Pardon me. Sorry about that, I am back. Uh, but yeah, honestly, I think I'm going to, uh, I think I'm gonna keep Takuku's name here. And Duke New, hmm. Hmm, I don't know, I'll keep, I'll keep his name as well. I, I think I like their names, and so we'll go ahead and stick with that. Uh, I may not use as many of the names for this, um, these last few episodes because I actually have to pre-record them and the name list is getting a little bit low. So you guys are welcome to submit more names, uh, but I may not be able to use them or I may end up using them in a different series than this one. I kind of keep a combined list of names for all of our niche series. Uh, so with that in mind, if you guys are okay with that, uh, then by all means continue to submit names. Oh my goodness, Rary over here is like swimming in bunny meat. Oh my goodness. Well, let's have Carrot come over and maybe try to help her kind of clean that up because uh, she's been a little bit a little bit swamped by all of that uh, for the time here. But uh, I think that's about it for this turn. Um, and I think we're going to go ahead... Oh, wait. Let's uh, make sure that we have uh, Brizo here continue to dig where she can. And... Oh, it's a Napos' last day. Well, she wasn't able to dig anything up, but uh, she's lived a long and happy life, and uh, I think she has uh, been quite content with being able to gather food over here and to uh, basically being able to, to know she's providing for her tribe. I mean, never has there been a more prosperous time. We went from almost starving in the early days to uh, having more food than we know what to do with. So the tribe is definitely entering a reign of prosperity, but I do still want to get our shore creatures eventually away from it. I, my end game goal here, which we may not accomplish in this season, is to eventually have no one sitting here on the mountain, which means no bunnies, no berries, just the stuff that falls in the water. So we probably won't get to that this season. We'll probably still have uh, land creatures too for most of the time here. But uh, by next season, I would like to see that happen, and uh, basically the only land creatures we'll have will be any that happen to wander near the shore that our creatures might stumble across. So we'll see how that works out. Uh, but for now, I think we're going to go ahead and end off this episode here for today. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay, over and out.